for the first time, we're going to stay in the same country we've been talking about just in the last in the last segment there. We're going to stay in Sweden. Here's something you would never think would be a problem. You've run out of garbage. You know, I've run out of batteries. I've run out of bread. I've run out of milk. But I've never run out of garbage. Garbage just seems to be one thing you almost seem to never run out of. Sweden, on the other hand, is because they're taking the garbage that's over there and they are using it for an alternative fuel. Now, they've gone so far as they're importing garbage from other countries around them. and But when they get done with it, after they've, they've incinerated it all, they take the waste product and they ship it back to the original countries and they and to have them to bury this stuff. Now, what happens is with this, it powers more than 9.5 million citizens that basically running their homes, the electrical grid runs on waste fuels. They're shipping in 80,000 tons of refuse annually just to fuel the country uh, with the outside waste. Joe, your thoughts? Yeah, um, Sweden is just this peaceful, atheist, happy Jerk off on the beach, environmentally <laughs> friendly Garden of Eden that all other nations aspire to be now, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I want to jerk off guy, on the beach and run my house on garbage. I, I mean, I bet the guy on the beach even recycled ninety percent, ninety six percent of his semen before incinerating the remaining four percent, just like they do with their garbage. I mean, I mean, that's that's it. I'm moving to Sweden. I want my knuckle children to grow up in a place that's green <laughs> and naked. <laughs> oh that's too good joe any uh, other thoughts it, it, it is definitely interesting that they have to import garbage to run their uh power plants that is a problem that many nations wish they had mm-hmm. so. yes it, yeah. yes it is definitely uh do you have any last thoughts on that i concede to the young lady from seattle okay connie your thoughts oh. Thank you. Uh, yeah, only 4% of all the waste generated in Sweden is landfilled. And what was really funny was I was looking at this machine, <clears throat> these plants in Sweden. I'm going, where have I seen this before? This looks like Toy Story 3. Mm-hmm. Turns <laughs> out that, yeah, incineration plants are actually here in America, too. And it's exactly what they are showing in the movie Toy Story Three. Mm-hmm. Which, you mean right to the big fire scene where all the yes, toys would be melted the down? One, the one that everybody falsely said, "Oh, guess what? Buzz and Woody and everybody die in the incinerator." Mm-hmm. Yeah, and uh, actually, there's one of those plants not too far from me, right here in uh, the uh, Pierce County area of Washington. It's like seven miles away from me. It's amazing because this this way that they reduced down the uh the waste it winds up being there's just like ashes i don't know what they do with the ashes i was not able to figure that out yeah they're just taking um, ship they just scoop that up and they ship it back to the countries and landfill order. it yeah and they landfill well, it there, you know, yeah. it, 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 no here you know and everybody that's that's uh, that's amazing that's yes. amazing to me and this is this is like why aren't we doing this and unfortunately though you know <laughs> if you put out the sign hey send me all your you know, all your landfill you get who knows what. Mm-hmm. But yeah, they have to import it from Norway right now, but they would rather it came from Italy, Romania, Bulgaria, mm-hmm. and the Baltic countries because those places don't have really recycling or anything. Right. Yeah. And they're, you know, there's just trashy places anyway. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> to all the listeners in the Baltic states. Yes. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I think we have one, and he he's just going to get the whole country in uproar over it now. But uh. <laughs> it's an ama- it's amazing. My dad worked for Warehouser, and it was all about recycling and. Oh, really? Uh, That's kind of cool. Too. Yeah, and and taking pulp wood and making diapers and all these other things with uh, wood pulp yeah. and how you clean out. Your factory. Anyway, I, 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 I was going. I, I was gonna, I was going to say that's that's very interesting. My father, my father also re- worked for Warehouser too when I was very young too. So. Oh really? Yeah. Oh sweet. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I, I didn't realize um, we had that connection. Now. No. Well, <laughs> wait a minute. Know. My. Wait, wait, we're we're have to compare some notes now because my dad used to travel a lot, so we're gonna have to start comparing some notes now. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oh, good. 
bits. Oh, <laughs> wouldn't this be a Wouldn't this be an interesting uh, conversation after the show? Well, yes, it would. <laughs> yes, it would. I'm not sure my mother would be very interested in it. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. <laughs> I'm oh, sorry, totally off the rails yes, there. Yes, yes. <laughs> I think it's I think it's exciting. I'm a recycler. I love recycling. Mm -hmm. It's why that you know, even though a family be flexing between four and like eight people, mm -hmm. you know, depending on which my ki my adult kids move back in, mm -hmm. I'm able to have just one garbage can. Yes. And so it's I'm a big proponent of recycling because I think that global warming and all these other things it's like why aren't we uh, trying to reduce and reuse and recycle. Yeah, the town I, that I live in, they're working on building a uh, biomass plant in the area. So uh, I, I think the biomass plants, and I think if that I'm not mistaken, this is what this basically is, because we generate so much trash in this country alone, that the fact is that we could be using this to generate power. And I think that's yes. I think that's the right way to go. Why not? Yeah, exactly. And the in the what's it left, turns it turns the turbines. Mm -hmm. it, you know, yeah, it generates electricity, and yeah, you wind up with less in your landfills. Right, absolutely. There will be landfills, but there'll be a lot less. I mean, it's exactly. dust by by comparison. So, Maribel, your thoughts, please. I really don't have any thoughts on this topic. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't I don't know how a country runs out of garbage and and they burned it all. We're just doing something wrong over here maybe the united states is just a mess as a whole yeah <laughs> well if we're gonna start by cleaning up the garbage we could start with the senators out and the gop out in dc first off but i mean if we're talking about cleaning up garbage as far as the people is concerned that's yeah. a whole nother topic <laughs> yes <laughs> people are not gonna like me too much after that no <laughs> maribel do you really feel that way oh uh, yes i do <laughs> yes 